Response to Asmongold, Battle for Azeroth 2018. Hey Asmongold, so it's been a couple of hours since I watched your video and it's Thank like you. 3 a.m. in the morning for me, but I just really needed to get this video out to you. Asmongold, you are the one. Let me explain. You mentioned quite a few things in your video, like um, the lack of communication, True. The Blizzard devs, the RNG mechanics are terrible, Matrix. Um, Blizzard's just doing things for profit. Yep. We already all know these things. Yes. Many, many people have mentioned them before. Many, many WoW influencers have mentioned them. Um, and the player base in general as a whole is well aware of them. Yes. But it's not what you said, it's how you said it. You expressed it from the heart. You were genuine about it. And that is I thought what my tone is was making bad. your video trending and getting rid of goals. But I thought my I thought a bad tone. Right now. It's how you said it, not what you said. And Thank that you. is why you are the one. There is only one thing out of everything that we've tried so far, out of everything that the Blizzard community has tried so far, all these problems, Blizzard will only listen to one thing. And that's not necessarily... And I don't believe, unfortunately, that that's increased feedback from the community. I feel that the only thing that Blizzard will ever listen to is when you unsub. And mm. this is the entire point of my video. You as Mongol, you have to unsub. Mm. You have to be the first to lead. I don't want to call it a movement, but for the simplicity's sake, for simplicity's sake, I'll just call it a movement. Wow. You have to be the first one to lead this. Because people will rally around you, as you've shown here in this video. You are able to express yourself in a way that people will rally around you. I guarantee you that the WoW player base is just waiting. They're just waiting for someone to start the ball rolling, and that, as one goal, is you. Now, I'm not saying that you stop playing altogether, and that's not what I'm suggesting. I'd play if I was unsub. All I'm saying is that you unsub. When you unsub, or when anyone unsubs, they still have a substantial amount of playtime left. And there's a million different metrics that Blizzard looks at to judge how successful their game is. One of which is, of course, how many people are subbed, but other metrics such as how many people log in daily, how many hours does each account play, Probably true. so on and so forth. But when you unsub, it's a huge red flag for them and potentially the biggest one of all. And that's why it's, it's got to be you. You got to show people, a lot of us are too... A lot of us, and frankly, we are afraid to unsub. WoW has been such a big part of our lives wow. for so long, and we don't know what we'll do without the game. And it needs someone like you, who's extremely well known in the WoW community, to come out and say, you know what, enough is enough. I've had it, and I'm going to send a message to Blizzard, and I'm going to unsub. You are not afraid to be politically incorrect. No. You are not afraid to speak out in a critical manner and intellectual manner against what is happening in the game right now. Oh. Most other high-end WoW YouTubers, streamers, whatever it may be, they are already too deep in Blizzard's pocket to do anything too drastic. Oh, to wow. To over the line too far. They're just going to toe oh. the line, say critical things about the expansion, but actually take no action. You are the guy that can take that action. And the only action that will ever mean anything against Blizzard is unsubbing. It's happened before. During the entire huge flying debacle, I can't remember when it was. I remember that. A couple that. of years Wad. ago when everybody was upset about flying, or a large part of the population was upset about flying, and a lot of people unsubbed, and it got onto third-party news channels, and it went all over the place, went viral. Blizzard sat up and said, holy shit, we have to do something. That was the last time that Blizzard really reined in on the Pathfinder thing and took concrete steps to make sure that people resub to the game. We have to speak in a language that they understand. And the only language that Blizzard understands. You mentioned it yourself. The entire direction of the company is towards generating money. So we have to stop giving them our money. And you know what? You may say, oh, people are just going to unsub and then they're going to renew their sub when it runs out or they're going yeah. to come back. I disagree. I think there's a very big difference between sitting there and passively letting your sub renew itself every month as compared to you having to manually log on to your account and press that button to say, I want to resub again because that is an active step that a consumer has to do to place their faith again in a game that they're confident will be able to give them back returns on how That's much they're true. putting in. With 
Blizzard developers' jobs on the line, they will finally listen. It is the only currency that they respond to. And you also mentioned that the developers were totally out of sync with how the game currently operates. I agree with you, but I also agree with you that there are good developers inside the company right now. Developers a few good who actively men. play the game, who actively read and enjoy and want to improve the game. These are the developers that we as a player base have to speak out and say that these guys should be the ones in power, not the money grubbing and the ones that are only concerned about profits developers. And the only way to do that is to unsub. We have to show Blizzard that we will no longer support their schemes because all the bad developers are doing, all the developers who are concerned about profits are going to say, you know what, people are still sub to the game. So it doesn't really matter. After every expansion launch, subscribers decrease. Anyway, we're always in a state of managing the declining subscribers instead of trying to increase them. So there will yeah. always be an excuse for them to stay in power as long as we keep giving them our hard-earned cash. So you, as Mongol, I truly believe that you are the one that can start something anew from this terrible state that WoW is currently in. We, as a player base, have a chance to make a change. And you are in a position to do that. You have enough influence to do something like this. Even a drop of, say, 5 to 10% of the subscriber base in a short amount of time I, I don't know will about make that. all the developers sit up in their chairs and go, holy shit. It'll make we need to make a new storm out. channels come in and report on this matter that WoW suddenly had a huge spike in the number of subscribers that left their game. It comes to a point where feedback has been given again and again and again from alpha to beta to live to 8.1 the devs have clearly shown that none of this is their priority none of this is prior this is their priority and they're willing to release a game that is rushed hmm. for the sake of the pre-order money i hope you resonate with me and you know what i'm going for when i say that you have to make a stand you Holy can't shit. just sit here and say, I don't like this, I don't like this. I'm not saying that you are. But in general, we can't just sit here and say, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. We have to take a stand. We have to use a loud healer in the only way that they will understand. And they. Unsub. I personally have unsubbed already. That doesn't mean I've stopped playing. You asked another one, boys. Step. And it's a huge concrete step to show that we as a player base are bonded and we're not going to stand for this shit any longer. So if you guys are watching this, help me to share this vid somehow. Help me to get this to Asmongol somehow or other. Share it with your friends. They may know how to get it to Asmongol. They may help. They may know a way for him to watch it while he's streaming. They may know their friends who may know how to get him to watch it on his stream. Again, I just like to state here, I'm not doing this for the likes or the views or whatever it is. I'm probably going to take this video down after a few days. It doesn't really tie in with the channel. But I just really wanted to get this out, out there. As Mongo, I believe you are the one that can help start something to set all this right. And if you agree with me, comment below with something. Hashtag unsub or just something, anything to show to As Mongo that we will stand behind such an idea. That was Hi big. Everybody, it's Az that was here massive. Versus... Are you kidding me? That was big. Like, Are you kidding me? I. I mean that that was really big, dude. Like I. He said I was the one. You are, and I. That's exactly what I said when you released your video. I said, dude. Unsub. Show these people what's going on. How we feel. It wouldn't work, man. I know you. I know you dis. I know you disagree. I know you read the ghost crawler thing. I did, but I even on, made a whole man. post about it, man. I know you did. I know you did. I like if I thought that was the solution. If I thought that's what would fix it, I would do it. Like I am a pragmatist, in all ways. I don't think it will work. If I thought it would, I would do it. Can you link the video? Nixie, can you link it again for people? Just so they can see it? Bro, like, we need to do something, though. Like, I, I just... 
Well, you said you were gonna brainstorm the yeah. other night about ideas, and you never brainstormed. All you did. How was do you know that I haven't brainstormed? You didn't because you didn't tell me privately. I did not brainstorm. Um, so what what do you guys think we could do? Uh, what what do you guys think? What do you guys think we could do? Move out without death, you idiot! You're gonna get people killed. Come on. Um, all right. Explode? No, no, no. Oh, uh, if it was. Bro, like, the video that I put out has over 300,000 views, man. 300,000. Can you believe that? Like, that's no, over can't. a quarter of a million. Like, people people listen to that video and they believe it. it sometimes it's irritating how, like... How, how, how like, fake humble you, you are... You knew this was going to be a huge video. You I really didn't. A video in, it's sick, shut up. Yep. You never released it. Shut up. You never released a video in six months. Okay? You knew this video would be huge. You knew you were talking about important issues. And you knew you everybody would promote this video every single place they possibly could. I'll you tell you why I can I can guarantee you that's untrue. Okay? The When was the first time that I said I was putting this video out? When did I first say I was doing it? Like a month ago. More than that, it's like two, yeah, probably about a month ago, actually, yeah, about a month ago. It took me that long to have a version of it that I felt comfortable and confident with. Like, I was very, very insecure about putting the video out, and that's why I didn't put it out earlier. That's not true, and, because you you made the video before the Q&A, the, the, uh, the Q&A that was, it was gonna happen. You said, guys, yeah. I'm gonna wait for the Q&A to make sure that I don't say anything in the video that is outdated by the time the Q&A comes out. Okay, yeah. then you watch the Q&A, then the Q&A happened, and then you took another, like, three weeks after that to finally get all your thoughts and, together and then release Yeah, it because now. I was just trying to rationalize not doing the video. Like, oh, that's why. Bull, bull crap, you're lazy. You're a lazy content creator. You're a lazy influencer, man. You're lazy, straight lazy. Yeah, but that kind of goes into what I'm saying, though, right? If I'm lazy, then... That means that, like, I, I guess, like, lazy and insecure are two different things. Yeah, okay, well, I, I'm not, I, I am lazy, but I also was worried that the video wasn't going to go very well. I, I really mean that. Like, I, I'm not even, like, fucking around. Like, I thought the video was going to be not well received by anybody. All right? And, and I don't really know, like, what... We need to have a summit. I, I think he's streaming, like, right now. No. Not the summit, a summit. Oh. We need to bring people in, and we need to start talking about this stuff. We need to figure out what people want, and I will figure out a way to aggregate feedback and complaints and everything like that. And we will have a summit. Maybe it will be on Allcraft. Maybe it will be somewhere else. Maybe it will be on my stream. And we will have the summit, and we will bring together the best people and the people that care about the game the most to talk about what the game wants and what the game needs. That, I mean that I think, is what needs to happen. That didn't really work with PvP, did it? I mean, the last time they held the summit for PvP, they came out with stat templates. Well, we had a summit for Battle for Azeroth, and um, look at BFA's PvP. It's alive. It's okay. I mean, I wouldn't say BFA PvP is, like, the best it's ever been. It's better by a substantial amount. People are watching PvP. PvP is popping off, dude. What do you mean? Uh, Yeah, most people are PvPing. Yeah. But, I mean, so to quit. So does one person. Wreckful unquit. Think about that. Okay. Mitch came back. A lot of people are coming back to PvP. The idea that, like, yeah, no, this is actually... No, this is 100% fucking real, dude. There's a lot of people that are coming back. Barry. Barry got unbanned. So dude. he could PvP. On stream. Alright? PvP is back. It's not as big as it was in Wrath, no. But there's a long road to get back to there. And Blizzard is on that road. Meanwhile, you've got PvE that's being dictated by Care Bears and babies. And we need to stop that. Because the Care Bears and the babies got a hold of it in, in Legion with PvP. And the arena tournaments were getting 10,000 viewers. Because nobody cared. We need a summit. We need to get people together. And we need to talk about this game. And we need to figure out what the problems are. That's the only thing that we can do.